News Hurricane Headquarters, sponsored by Entergy. New at 10 from your uh, Hurricane Headquarters, help is on the way for Southeast Texans still struggling after recent storms. FEMA is here to offer assistance for those who had damage from either the spring storms or from Hurricane Barrel last week. You can qualify whether you're a homeowner or even a renter. And there's good news. You can qualify even if you don't have insurance. 12 News Reporter Caught War breaks down what you need to do to apply. The first half of 2024 brought Southeast Texans a seemingly endless onslaught of severe weather, followed by a hurricane, leaving many of us still in recovery mode. Hands are going up. Oh my Lord, what do I do? I've been impacted by both of these disasters. Latanga Hopes is a regional spokesperson with FEMA. She says they are here to help all Southeast Texans who were affected by severe weather. We've just recently reopened our disaster recovery centers, Jasper area, Newton. There's also another one, Tyler. You have one month left to apply for assistance if you are a homeowner or renter impacted by storms between April 26th and June 5th. And those affected by Hurricane Barrel in Jasper, Chambers, Jefferson, Galveston, and Orange counties can also qualify for help. If you incur damages on the first one, apply for that first. That's where the tornadic activity, the flooding. If you then incurred damages, from Barrel, complete a second application. Hope says appointments are not necessary and you can go to any FEMA disaster recovery center for help. Bring your ID, bring something that verifies your address where you live. Your photos will be important to qualifying for assistance. Hope says FEMA's focus is on meeting your basic needs. If you had a big, beautiful refrigerator, we're probably gonna provide you with money to get a new refrigerator. Hope says there's no time to waste to apply for the help you need. We're here for you. So take advantage of this opportunity while it's being presented and let us help you with your recovery. In Beaumont, Kyle Orr, 12 News.